morning both. Good morning to you too. This morning it's quite a mild start to the day. The forecast is a cloudy one for most once again. We've got rain moving east and it's going to be windy. The strongest winds today and tonight will be across the north and also the west. Now we've had some persistent rain through the night. In the last 36 hours actually in the Isle of Skye we've had as much as 116 millimetres but you can see we've also got another leg of rain and this leg of rain is going to be moving from the west to the east through the day. So if you're starting off with some brightness in the east it won't be too long before the cloud builds. You'll see a few showers and then the rain will arrive. Persistent rain though across the Northern Isles and behind this band of rain you'll find we see a return to some brighter skies, some sunshine but also some showers. Now temperatures ranging from about 6 in Larwick to 15 as we push down to the southeast. So behind this weather front the temperatures are actually going to dip. So the highest temperatures in the west are now. Through this evening and overnight we see the front pull away into the North Sea in the near continent and the front in the north sinks southwards. Now it's bumping into cold air so we'll see some wintry showers even down to sea level across Shetland and down to about 200 metres across the highlands for example. But in some of those heavier showers they could get down much lower than that. Could be a risk of ice as well in parts of Scotland tonight but as we come further south it's not going to be quite as cold as it is in the north. Tomorrow we start off with some gales across eastern Scotland and also eastern England but through the course of the day as a ridge of high pressure builds in the wind will start to ease. Any showers that we have will also start to fade away and there will be a lot of dry weather around too but it's going to be much colder. In fact in Scotland tomorrow compared to today there'll be at least a 10 degree drop in temperature for some. Lou and Dan. Good morning everybody. <laughs> This morning there's quite a bit of cloud around once again and today it is going to be pretty breezy. We've got rain moving from the west towards the east. But if you're just about to step out it is a mild start to the day. These are the kind of temperatures that will greet you in Lossiemouth. It's already 15 degrees, Edinburgh 14, Belfast and Cardiff 13, Manchester and London 12. But for some of us those temperatures will actually go down through the day. And that says this weather front bearing rain continues to move from the west to the east. Colder air follows on behind it. One look at those isobars tells you it's going to be windy especially in the north and also the west today. Now we've seen a lot of rain through the course of the night. In the last 36 hours actually in the Isle of Skye there's been 138.6 millimetres of rain. That's almost five and a half inches and there's more rain for you today. This is the band that's moving from the west towards the east, eradicating the early brightness we've got in some eastern areas. And we've also got some persistent rain ensconced across the Northern Isles. Now behind this weather front, we see a return to brighter skies, some sunshine, but also some showers and temperatures going down. Remember the 14 in Lossiemouth? Well, we're going to be down round about nine by the time we get to the afternoon. But as we come further south, we still are in the milder air. And it's largely, we've got a change in the wind direction, more of a northerly component in the north, more of a westerly in the south. Now as we head on through the evening and overnight, there goes our weather front clearing off into the North Sea. We've also got this weather front which is sinking south through the night. We've got the northerly wind and cold air so we're likely to see some snow showers even down to sea level across Shetland in particular but down to about 200 metres it will start to accumulate in parts of the highlands. In some of the heavier showers it could get down lower than that and it's going to be a cold night. Look at those temperatures, twos and fours compared to the 12 to 14 we're looking at at the moment. Come further south, not quite as cold. So then as we move through Thursday you can see how the blues dominate this chart indicating it's going to be cold but add on the wind chill and it will really feel quite bitter for some. But we've got this ridge of high pressure building in which will settle things down before this next clutch of fronts come our way and they will bring milder air through Friday. But first thing on Thursday some gales across parts of eastern Scotland and eastern England as the ridge of high pressure builds in the winds will start to ease and we'll see many of the showers fade away and a lot of dry weather, a fair bit of sunshine but don't forget it's going to be cold with that wind chill. Look at those temperatures, these are the maximum temperatures so not as cold in the south as it's going to be in the north and for some parts of Scotland the temperature will actually be a good 10 degrees lower 
than it's going to be today. So you will certainly notice that. Now on Friday, we start off with a fair bit of cloud around. Then our clutch of weather fronts come in from the west, introducing some rain. But we're going to start to see milder air because the wind will return to more of a southwesterly. So these are the temperatures in western areas, 11s and 12s. Eventually, we'll see the temperature rise over towards the east. But what you might find on Friday is the temperatures are higher on Friday night for some than they're going to be on Friday during the day. Lou and Dan. I mean, is that quite unusual, Carol, to have that? I imagine it probably is, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is quite unusual. Well, but thanks. hey, the weather's topsy turvy at the it moment. Is. Isn't it is. You remember us, we're off to a bright start. You can see an earlier Weather Watchers picture taken in Devon, but for others, there's quite a lot of cloud around and some rain as well. And the rain in the west is going to be moving eastwards through the course of the day. So after that mild start, the temperatures will drop behind it. And wherever you are, you will notice the wind, but the strongest wind today will be in the north and the west. So this is the rain that we've had. In fact, in the last 37 hours or so in the Isle of Skye, we've had 143 millimetres of rain. That's very roughly just over 5.6 inches. We've also got rain ensconced across the far north of Scotland. That will be with us all day. Further rain in the west. This is the weather front moving eastwards, eradicating the bright start some of us have. There'll be a few showers ahead of this rain. And then behind it, we see a return to brighter skies, some sunshine, but also a good packet of squally showers. And temperatures having reached this morning 14 degrees in parts of Scotland, they are coming down. But because the weather front hasn't got into the far southeast as yet and introduced the colder conditions, well, we still are hanging on to 14s and 15s here. But the front does eventually clear. There'll be some clear skies. The weather front in Scotland sinks southwards, taking its rain with it. We're now in a northerly airflow. So we'll see some snow showers coming in, even to sea level. And across Shetland, down to about 200 metres in the highlands, we'll start to see the snow accumulate. And in some of the heavier showers, it could get down even to sea level as well. Risk of ice here, but as we come further south, not as cold. So into tomorrow, we start off with gales across eastern parts of Scotland and eastern England. But as the ridge of high pressure builds in, that will mean that the wind will start to ease and any showers we have will start to fade. And for many of us, it will be a sunny day. You can see the next system waiting in the wings. It might be sunny, but it's not going to be warm. Don't forget, we've got the wind chill to add on to this. These will be our maximum temperatures. So in Aberdeen, your maximum temperature will be four degrees tempered by the wind. And in some parts of Scotland tomorrow, the temperature will be a good 10 degrees lower than it's going to be today. Whereas as we come further south, the temperature will be lower, but it's not going to be quite as cold as it will be further north. Dan and Lou.